Were you a volunteer for Polo Jean? Uh, I work as the strategic campaign resources manager. Okay. So talk about Into the Light, here we go. Uh, kind of talk about it because it's a lot for uh, people don't understand what goes into a campaign. It's like a seven days a week thing, 16 to 18 hours a day. Uh, you lose you lose touch with family, friends, relationships. Your health goes to shit. Talk about what the last uh, couple months have been like. Well, it's a lot of um, what you lose out on is is time. What really matters is just putting the work in. I mean, I've been up since 6 a.m. today, and we were planning for a midnight tonight. And, I mean, that's that's an 18-hour day. And it's been like that for a long time, and it'll be like that with every campaign. But at some point, I've been doing this since 2012, the 2012 cycle. You get used to it, and you come to love it because you see the difference you're making. Even back then, uh, someone told us, if someone said, oh, we're going to take a no-name person and we're going to run him against Joe Manchin, and we're going to get votes. Someone back then would have looked at you and said, you're crazy. Joe Manchin had just come off a Senate win. Um, the, uh, Barack Obama had just won re-election. No one's going to challenge Joe. So to, to just be a normal person to come in and, and do something like that, it's, it's a wonderful experience and a wonderful connection, even if you do lose those things for a while, because the people around you get touched by all this, and they, they come to appreciate it. And I want to ask you what... What inspired you about Paula? Uh -huh. um, I really connected with Paula's story. Uh, I worked with the Sanders campaign in 2016 and then um, went on and worked in a couple of the governor's races. And I worked with some amazing people. Um, we were thanking Brandy Miller and Walt Sarkees tonight. Uh, they got started with Paula and they're like, Mac, you got to come over here. There's something amazing. And now that I'm over here, I really see what that is because what got me started in politics was um, a natural disaster. My community got hit, um, Pocahontas County, West Virginia, we got hit with a windstorm that knocked out power to the whole county for three weeks. That's insanity. And that was the moment whenever I saw community rise. You know, brother and sister come together, help out, help out your vet who's alone in the house on oxygen, help get food to seniors, help get gasoline out to people so we can get the emergency vehicles running again. And it was that moment where I said, people can make a difference. And for Paula to come out of the coal fields and say, my creek's orange, that's wrong. People are dying. People are dying of cancer. People are dying of, of young age because they can't get health insurance. People are, are being screwed by the system. I, I connected with that because I had seen very briefly, but just enough to you know give you that jolt, to be that frog job, uh, dropped into the hot water band. We need to make a difference. We need to make a change. And we can do it. And for progressive viewers who tonight, uh, there's other progressive candidates running. Uh, if they lose, uh, a lot of people get dejected and, dejected and feel like, oh, what's the point? It's all rigged. We're never going to topple the big bad Goliath of the corrupt Democratic Party. What's your message? I started out going into 2018 between even just Joe and Paula saying, well, maybe we should air with Joe. We saw what happened in 2016. And it took coming out and listening to make the difference for me to be like, Paula is the candidate to back. So my advice to the people, whenever you get down, whenever you, you start having those thoughts that it might not be worth it, the, the fight just might not be winnable, go out and listen again. Hear these people preach the things that have put a fire in your soul and let them reignite that flame because you're going to find candidates that come and go and they're going to say things and it's, it's not going to matter. It's going to be hollow. But when you find that candidate that relights your fire, it doesn't matter how downtrodden, how hard you've lost in the past, you're going to get up and you're going to find that vigor to get up at six in the morning, day in and day out and fight for that person and fight for what's right and to fight for your community. Thanks, man. You have a great day, man. Thanks, man.